Hello, you are watching Shalom World News. I'm David Kerr from Lansing in Michigan, and these are your latest news headlines from around the world. The Vatican's most senior diplomat has strongly criticised Russia's bombing of a children's hospital in southern Ukraine. The airstrike occurred on Wednesday in the besieged port of Mariupol. The city council say that three people were killed in the attack, including one child, with a further 17 injured. In response, the Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal Pietro Parlin described the bombing of any hospital as unacceptable. Speaking to journalists at a conference in Rome, he added that there are no reasons and no motivations for such an attack. Meanwhile, the President of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the European Union has sent a letter to the Russian Orthodox Patriarch in Moscow, imploring him to mediate with President Putin in order to stop the war in Ukraine. Colonel Jean-Claude Hollerich said he was appealing to Patriarch Kirill on behalf of his brother bishops, describing their sentiments as broken-hearted. Citing a document signed by both Pope Francis and Patriarch Kirill in 2016, in which they deplored all prior conflict in Ukraine, Cardinal Hollerich urged the Patriarch to appeal to Russian authorities and bring an end to the present war. Elsewhere, and uh, Pope Francis's envoy to Ukraine, Cardinal Konrad Krajewski, has presided at a prayer service for peace in the western Ukrainian city of Lviv. The event took place on Thursday in the city's cathedral. Among the participants were representatives of different churches and religious communities in Ukraine. Speaking after the service, Cardinal Krajewski said, quote, Today we are all united, everyone prayed together and asked God for peace according to the gospel. Cardinal Krajewski, who is Polish, is one of two cardinals who have been sent to the troubled region by Pope Francis in an attempt to show the Holy Father's closeness to those who are suffering. On Thursday afternoon, Cardinal Krajewski also visited the Ukrainian-Polish border, where he met with volunteers who are currently helping refugees wanting to cross across the border. Police in Florida have charged three youths with vandalism of public statues of Jesus, Mary and Joseph. The attack took place last month outside Holy Family Church in Jacksonville, and the sacred statues were daubed with vulgar or satanic images, as well as the slogan, Hail Satan. The three suspects are aged between 18 and 24. They have each been charged with the offence of criminal mischief to a church or place of worship. That's a third degree felony, punishable by up to five years in prison. The three youngsters were listed on Thursday as being in a pre-trial detention facility in Jacksonville, with bail set at just over $15,000. They're scheduled to appear in court later this month. The Hungarian parliament has elected a pro-life Christian mother of three as the country's first female president. 44-year-old Katalin Novak was elected on Thursday after gaining 137 out of a possible 188 votes in the country's National Assembly. Ms Novak has served as a member of the National Assembly for Prime Minister Viktor Orban's Fidesz party since 2018. In fact, she was his Minister for Family Affairs from 2020 to 2021. Throughout her political career, career, she's been an outspoken advocate for the traditional family and the rights of the unborn child. The Hungarian presidency represents the unity of the Hungarian state, with the president's duties largely ceremonial. That also requires that the president step back from any party political affiliation. Finally, two former Church of England bishops are due to be ordained as Catholic priests within the next few weeks. Jonathan Goodall, who is the former Anglican Bishop of Ebbsfleet, will be ordained at Westminster Cathedral in London on Saturday, March the 12th. Meanwhile, John Goddard, the former Anglican Bishop of Burnley, will be ordained in the Lutchens Chapel of the Metropolitan Cathedral of Christ the King in Liverpool on Saturday, April the 2nd. Both men were formerly Anglo-Catholics, in total, four Anglican bishops have now been received into the Catholic Church over the past year. The former Anglican Bishop of Rochester, Michael Nazir Ali, and the former Anglican Bishop of Chester, Peter Forster, were received into the Catholic faith, faith last autumn. Meanwhile, Dr Gavin Ashenden, a former chaplain to Queen Elizabeth, became a Catholic in Shrewsbury Cathedral at Christmas 2019. Well, that's your latest headlines for now. Do join us for more tomorrow. You can also join us at aswnews.org for news updates. Shalom.